Well, we made a bad habit. Uh, New Orleans game, we came out and didn't play with the energy that we should be playing with. Mm -hmm. That should have been a sense of urgency. Uh, I thought uh, New Orleans did a good job of just being very physical inside. Uh, we felt we had a good game plan after scouting them that uh, if we played our zone defense and forced them to shoot jump shots, uh, we would have, a, have success. Well, uh, we didn't contain dribble penetration. Um, and once we tried to cover and help the perimeter people out, once the shot went up, we were in scramble mode, and, and they just rushed the rim, and, and they got second and third shots. And for our defense to work, we've got to hold them to one shot. And we didn't do a good job, especially in the first half, doing that. Well, the second half, we just scrapped the zone and went right into our pressure defense. Uh, we, at that point, we were very, we, we felt a need to get the ball back. Uh, and that gives us more opportunities to score. So we started pressing full court and uh, we, our traps were, were good, our rotations were good, but we dug a deep hole in the first half. Uh, but we had a much better half, second half, which gave us really some opportunities to win the ball game. Uh, but going down the stretch when we could have taken the lead, we failed to execute offensively. And of course the second half, we were better defensively, but we never f seemed to be in sync on the offensive end. And you gotta give New Orleans credit for that. Well, there's an expectation in our program, regardless of who we play at home, we got to protect home court. And uh, we know uh, Central Arkansas is probably one of the most dangerous teams because they're in search of getting their first win. Um, they're hungry. That's, uh, that's something that we've got to guard against, being lackadaisical, but go out and throw the first punch and uh, make sure that we continue to uh, pressure them. Uh, and we got to start putting together a full 40 minute basketball game. Man, I love our guys. They, uh, they, we have a good relationship. We talk about everything uh, about life and they respond to it. Uh, I, I, I like the fact that it's a family atmosphere. Uh, our returning players have uh, really been good in terms of helping the young guys understand uh, what they're up against. Uh, because at some point, younger guys are going to hit the wall, especially when we get in the middle of conference play. But uh, I try to make sure that, uh, as the kids say, I, I try to stay on their level and, and make sure that they understand that uh, this is bigger than just basketball. Uh, when we hit the basketball court, we've got to play with intensity uh, and be resilient. Uh, but when we're off the court, we've got to be good people. Uh, and try to make sure that we be respectful to people and and uh, carry ourselves in an admirable uh, way. And they have been a good representative of Lamar University. Well, uh, we've got a radio show that's at 8 o'clock on AM 560. Uh, that starts at 8 o'clock every Wednesday night. And on Saturdays, uh, the TV show starts on uh, Fox from 12 to 12.30. And on Sundays, uh, on CW from 12.30 to 1. So you can catch uh, Lamar basketball with Tick Price on Saturdays and Sunday. Uh, we hope that uh, our fans tune in. Uh, we're going to have a lot of fun. Uh, but also, it gives you the inside scoop of Lamar basketball.